Carolyn Doobie here, and today's play is brought to you by a great big messy oops. Yep, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. I was using some Marabou Art Spray, and if you've seen some of my other videos, I love to take the cap off and dip my brush into them and actually paint with them. And yeah, guess what happened? I think you can see this coming. I knocked it over. I didn't keep it in my hand to make sure I didn't spill it, and I spilled the entire bottle all over my entire work surface. And yeah, I wanted a little yellow, but that was a lot of yellow. Well, what that ended up getting me thinking about is there had to be a way for me to be able to use this art spray for backgrounds the way I wanted without making, well, without living on that edge of risking spilling the entire bottle. Now you might be wondering, well, why not just use watercolors if you want to do this? Well, the reason is, is the art sprays are completely permanent when they're dry, which means they're not going to reactivate. So when I'm building up layers mixed media style, it's nice to have something completely dry so it won't reactivate if I put stuff on top of it. That is the big reason why I keep dipping my brush into these bottles. Well, what I found not only kept things from spilling, but it had this fantastically addictive side benefit that it makes things go splot when you want to. I was just gonna do one or two on here, but you can see I kinda got a little overzealous about how many splots I wanted on there. So I'm gonna show you how to put these into the containers, how to use them to build a background, and of course, the splots. First thing you wanna do is make sure you've shaken up the art spray well. That way everything's completely mixed. Now the bottle comes with three parts. The bottle, the cap, and then the little thing that goes in the top that regulates how much of the color is gonna come out. So I've made sure that this one is well shaken. I'm gonna remove the spray nozzle and then I'm just gonna pour as much as I want into the bottle. You can put the whole thing in there or you can put just a little bit. It's completely up to you. Now I love using these things so I am I could go halfway, no, I'm going all the way. I'm gonna put the entire thing in the bottle. In the art spray bottle, there's a little metal ball that helps with mixing things up. If I'm putting all of it into the splot container here, then I'm gonna put that metal ball in there too. If I'm not gonna put it all in there, I'm gonna keep that metal ball in the art spray bottle. That way it can help keep those things mixed up. Now you've got your cap here, your lid, whatever this thing's called, and you simply press it down and now you are ready to go. Now the first time that you use the little dauber top, it won't have color on it. You're gonna need to press it down in the center. You'll hear it do a little click and that will allow the color to flow from it. So once you've got that pressed down, you simply turn it around or give it a squeeze and you'll start to see that color show up. Then get ready to make splots. All you do is simply press that down onto the paper that you're working on to get that splot of color. All those wonderful little lines radiating out. That has to do with how juicy you've got the top of it. Are you squeezing the bottle? And also to how much force you're putting on it when you put it straight down. Now you've gotten the idea of how this works. So in theory, I could stop at any point, but frankly, it's so much fun to watch that color just go whoosh when it makes that splot. So guess what? I'm gonna do a few more of them. These bottles are made by a company called Handy Art, and I'll have a link to them so that you can find them over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com, and I'll have that link down below for you too. Now along with splots like this, what else can these things do? They can make doing a background or coloring things in happen in a snap. Like this art journal page. Here I've spray painted using a Stencil Girl stencil by Mary Nasser, all these globes, but it's just in black and white. So to bring in that color quickly, that's where the splotters are so very handy. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna call these things, splotters. Because, well, I love how they make things go splot, but they're also extremely practical because it's almost like having a really, really juicy marker that you can color in large areas with. And if I give it a big squeeze as I'm doing it, I can create puddles of color. So I've got a lot of flexibility on how much color I wanna get on there. And of course, it's that instant gratification, cover a large area quickly and easily. So this will take care of the background for my art journal page, but what am I gonna put next on it? I don't know, I'm not sure what the next layer holds, but because I've used the art spray to do this, I've got a lot of flexibility because once this color is dry, it's dry. It's not gonna reactivate the way watercolors or that kind of thing would so that I have the flexibility to put whatever I want on top of it and those layers are not going to disturb the layers that are underneath it. Oh, and I forgot to mention with these bottles, you can remove that dauber top so that if you wanna to add more color into it, let's say you use it all up, 
All you do is pull that top out and then you can add more color in it and get right back to playing. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you want to see more of what I'm up to, head on over to the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. And yep, you know it, there'll be more videos coming, so hit that subscribe button so you'll know as soon as the next one's out. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey. Thank you.